If Jacques Cousteau and Charles Darwin had to start from scratch today, exploring the seas might look like this. These makeshift sea bots are giving West Baltimore students an engineering and ecosystem lesson at the Port of Baltimore. Working with the sea bots in Maysville Cove was a bit of a challenge because of the current and the wind, but once you get the once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. Students in the Safe Alternative Foundation for Education summer program tested out these robots they assembled to learn about the Chesapeake Bay's health. Here at Masonville Cove, students plopped their creations in the Patapsco River to see how their sea bots worked and how to work as a team. We got to practice at the Y. We got to try and get them to the other side and back. And yeah, we like to work as a team to get through it. The sea bus taught me about mostly about engineering and like in a strange way about like how how it mo like movement. So like if a current's coming this way, the sea bus going to tend to move to the left. The sea bots were made possible by Chesapeake Bay Trust grant to Safe Alternative with the assistance of the Maryland Port Administration. Safe founder and director Van Brooks thought bringing students to the port would be a wow moment for these kids. He should know. His father, also named Van Brooks, works at the Port of Baltimore. Well, it, it initially started as a kid when my, my dad's a longshoreman, so he's always been working at the port. But then I met uh, Miss Barb, and uh, we formed a really great relationship, and um, they introduced me to Masonville. They also helped us with writing some grants to secure some funding to do these projects that we're doing at Masonville. Seeing cars on the terminals and learning about port operations made an impression on the students. I like the learning about the ports, like how they import cars, coal, salt, and all types of things like that. It's like these big cargo ships that bring the cars and stuff in, and uh, in, for, in order for the cargo ships to actually float, it needs to be like 50 feet deep, the water. And of course, guess who stole the show at Masonville Cove? Like the most main event of this place, which is Captain Trash Wheel. It's nice seeing how runoff and stuff from the... Um, some that comes into the cove goes like it's filtered into a big dumpster that um, someone came up with, which is really cool. And I think it's really interesting how someone can just think of the idea and it can have a big impact on our environment. The Maryland Port Administration supported trash wheels inspired obtaining the sea bots. Now the sea bots came up of an idea uh, similar to Mr. Trash Wheel. Mr. Trash Wheel is, is there to pick up trash and to make sure that you know it, it, it keeps the water clean. And we developed a sea bots to try to do something simpler. Of course, we had to do it on a much larger, on a much smaller scale, but it was just an introduction to everything that we we're just trying to teach them as far as their actions in the uh, community, their environmental footprint, and the importance of keeping trash out of the sewers and from going into the water. The students are already taking action to make sure they keep trash from entering the bay. I hope with my green team, I pick up trash around the neighborhood and I recycle it. At my camp center, we put like chicken wires over the, the um, storm drain, so that way, when it's, it rains, the all the trash can stop. Like the chicken wire stops it from going down the drain. So if we put, we could put more of those around like the city, and that would help the bay more. Not only do these students want to keep the bay clean, but their new best friend too. So it helps Captain Trash Wheel um, with the trash, and it's really helpful.